Hello and welcome to this Android Defense tutorial brought to you by North Border Software. My name is Gary. Uh, we're going to continue with the Getting Started series and look at the relative layout. Uh, just have a quick look at this. Um, so what I'll do, I'll just set the, um, uh, the the basics really in terms of setting up a class and a layout for this. Um, so I'll start by creating a new layout. So just right click on there, new layout resource file. And I'll call this um, activity and I'll just call it relative. XML um, and the root element will actually make this um, relative a relative layout. Okay, um, so we just OK that now. Okay, so if you just look at this text there now, so you can see here um, it's just the same as a linear layout. I set the linear um, part of the wording has been changed by relative. Um, so we'll look at what this does a little bit later on. So let's just um, set up a class for this now. So I'm going to set up a new uh, Java class. Uh, we'll call this. Um, just call it rela relative activity. Okay, that's all right. And we'll um, extends activity. Okay, and we need to add a non create method, so it's a control O. Uh, you guys should be getting used to this now, so uh, I'll probably just you know skip these steps in the future now. Um, and we want the on create service instance bundle. Uh, we just need to set the content view. That'd be r dot layout dot, and we want the activity relative. Okay, so that's that side done. So we just need to do the uh, manifest file. So let's just modify that. Uh, we just copy this here. Control V that. And we need to change this to um, rel relatively relative activity oops and we'll change this um, intent string to um, just relative so it's just something that's unique okay uh, and that's that's fine so um, what we'll do now let's go and put this into the list view so um, I'm going to do what we're going to do is just a couple of things here. Um, we're going to add the string now um, for this item in the uh, the list view itself. So let's call this uh, relative layout. So that's the menu item, and we need to set up um, a case instance, case break for it. And now. This would, in the list view. This would be item. Uh, well, he'll have the position one. So we need to just set it up for position one. Okay. Um, give it a different intent variable. Intent two. Change this to intent two, and let's just change this to relative. So what will happen now is that when um, when we press the click on the uh, relative layout item, it'll just load that new um, that new activity. Excellent. So um, let's go on to the um, layout itself. Uh, so here's the XML. There's nothing there. So let's go to design view and let's just drop a few uh, items in. So let's just uh, let's just put a couple of text views in there. You can see they're kind of just going where they're dropped in. Um, what it'll do, we'll just make these 
just take the uh, these bits out. Okay. Okay, so now you see all these um, text views I've actually just all laid on top of each other. I'll just zoom in there so you can actually see that a little bit better. Uh, you can see they're all, all here, uh, just all on top of each other. Um, so what we want to do is, is, um, is kind of um, position them on the screen using some XML attributes. So um, for instance, let's take this text view here. Uh, let's make this Android. And you've got all these layouts uh, attributes here. So I've got one centering parent here. So uh, let's just make that true. Uh, there's so many to choose from here, so you you know you can um, pick the ones you want, really, um, for your layout. And you can see this text view now is actually centered in the parent. So let's just move these other ones around here. So uh, let's just pick something. Um, do let's let position this one um, above um, the ID of this one here. So just copy that one. Just paste that there. Okay, so now if you look at the design view now, you can see that's just got above it, but it's in the um, uh, the, the, the left hand side of the screen. Um, what I'll do, I'll just change these texts as well, just to make these more much more clear. Okay, so you've got number one, two, and three still up there. Um, so what I'll do, I'll center this one as well, um, not center in pyramid, but I'm going to line it with uh, the center as well. So, uh, so uh, what we'll do is just pick something that's appropriate to do that. Let's do a center horizontal. So you see that's now uh, aligned itself above text one, but in the center of the screen. Um, so this one here, let's just pick some random thing to do. Uh, let's just align that parent button. Um, and align parent bottom. True. So. So you get the sense of um, what this is actually doing. Uh, I'll just zoom in again so you can just have a look uh, what we've done here. So you get a sense of what this um, relative layout is doing. It gives you a high degree of flexibility compared to the linear layout. Uh, I tend to use the relative layout all the time really because you've got this precise position of items on the screen. Uh, it's far more useful, far more flexible than the, uh, the linear layout itself. Linear layout is very useful if you're just doing basic text on the screen um, because it just arranges things neatly uh, as, as it would do with text uh, but any graphical elements uh, or you want some, some sophistication or high degree of control then re relative layout is the way to go um, you saw those XML attributes um, you really need to um, really take some time really to um, do a similar thing to here and explore some of those um, features really some of those attributes really to see how you can position things on the screen uh, it'll do with the padding and the margins as well so uh, have a good experiment with that one um, what I'll do is just give this a quick test um, just to make sure the list view is working okay so uh, the app is launched so I'll we'll just uh, get through to list view you can see the um, the second of items here relative layout there's a little line dividing line between the two there so just click on relative layout and uh, you can see the uh, the layouts appeared as we uh, set up in the um, tutorial um, what I'll do I'll, I'll leave the tutorial here for now uh, just gives an idea what the relative layout is all about um, like I say guys um, really should practice this uh, and get used to all the attributes because you're probably using it more than anything else uh, so catch you in the next tutorial bye bye for now